All right, folks, Hutch Henry's here alongside Classic Chris. It's championship action, triple threat action here at Crossfire's Jingle Brell Ball 5. First, Brel -ball -ball -ball. Of, first of three championship matches tonight, Hutch. Casey Spinelli with her first title. With, uh, no, yeah, I'm me too. Tied. Both of us Casey are tongue-tied Spinelli here. with her first title defense. See, this is not fair that... Well, you know who else is a little tongue-tied? I think Priest and Exentridius there, our ring announcer. This match, all three of these lovely ladies in the ring have all the men tongue-tied here, all three of us. Well, see, here's the thing. Crossfire has something mental going on here because Caitlin Diamond, the longest-running champion, she gets her rematch in a triple threat rules match. Now, in my opinion, Kat Von Hees costed Caitlin Diamond that championship with this exact style. Well, there we go. Well, I don't know if you could hear over top of Chris's commentating, but she was saying, get out of here, he's. I don't care about you, my issues with Spinelli. I wouldn't know if that's true, both of these ladies. Spinelli and he's together are the reason that Caitlin Diamond is no longer champion. And although, wow, although I am certainly no Caitlin Diamond fan, as a professional, I gotta tell you, the way she lost the title after holding it for 446 days certainly was not kosher with this man. Exactly, longest title run in Crossfire history, and this is how they repay the former champion. Well, here we go, Spinelli taking on He's here. He's is officially the number one contender after her victory over yeah, Skyler yeah. Rose, yeah, I believe. Yeah, one victory. Caitlin Diamond was undefeated for what, 500 days? Well, Caitlin Diamond wasn't around. We weren't even sure if she was going to be around for this match. Oh. Time moves forward, things go on, the show must go on, and He's is a new official number one contender. Oh. But it turns out Diamond was around, and we've made a triple threat match here. Management at Crossfire making a great call, and we're going to have a great match. Here we go, former champ against current champ. Well, as you Spinelli can see, too quick. These two ladies know each other very, very well. Spinelli down, current champion here at Crossfire. Wow, sliding, clothesline. One count. Wow, look at that. He's a lot of power behind those forearm shivs. Oh, the stiff forearm. Oh, Ooh. missing Spinelli in the corner. Von Hees was trying oh. to get the kind of response that Spinelli's getting. The fans here at Crossfire love their champ. Oh. Wow, wow, an assistant clothesline. I don't think I would call that working together. I'd say Spinelli's in firm control, though. She is the Crossfire's woman champion. Just take it, firm control. Oh, but Caitlin ah, Diamond see. stops at the short arm clothesline. That's why she was the champion for so long. And this is why, yeah. Oh. <laughs> this is why triple threats are so dangerous. That's right, you gotta have eyes on your back of your head. And it's tough for the champion right now because the champion's advantage is out of the window. Wow. You don't even have to be involved in the, in the finish and you can still lose your championship. Repaying he's for those forearm shims, three of them of her own. Wow, ducking, bam, straight to the gut. Oh, what's going on here? Oh, wow, snapping that off. Package suplex out of nowhere. One thing I like about this Cat Von Hees. Oh, oh, turns into a drop kick. You don't see a lot of big power moves in female wrestling. Oh. And Cat Von Hees is certainly not shy about throwing ladies around. But so far, I would not say that she's in control in this match. Spinelli, Caitlin Diamond, they have been taking it. This whole thing. Well. Diamond knows this ring so well. That's why she was Crossfire Women's Champion for so long. 20 by 20 Crossfire ring. One of the only 20 by 20 Whoa. rings regularly in use here in Ontario. Von Hees up to her feet there in the corner hard. Oh, Diamond with a stiff clothesline. That's what she picked up in Japan, those stiff strikes. That's not the only thing I heard she picked up in Japan, but. That's right, it was a fat record contract. <laughs> Oh, Yakuza kick in the corner. Another trick Von from the rising sun. Von he's feeling it. Look, she's basically out on her feet. She's knocked out. Look at her eyes. Oh, Schultz lost her jaw there, Hutch. Spinelli now going to take some shoulder blocks. See, now this is what I like. Caitlin Diamond firmly in control. Caitlin Diamond. I'd call her the man, only she might take exception to it. But certainly the toughest dude in the ring. Oh, she could beat up many men, Hutch. Oh, forearm shiv again. Oh, this is a dangerous place, place for Spinelli on the top turnbuckle right in front of us, Hutch. Yeah, but She's Caitlin Diamond back. and Spinelli, they think that oh. Von Hees is out of it here. But no matter how long you take, there's three uh -oh. gals in there. And eventually she's oh, going to no. recover. You see a superplex here? You got to have eyes in the back of your head. Here we go. Oh. Oh, no. 
Oh no, the infamous tower of doom. Oh! oh sit down power bomb! With a superplex in there. Fans on their feet here at Jingle Bell Brawl 5. Here we go, Chris, another look at that. Sit down style, torquing both ladies, wham! Diamond and Spinelli certainly hurting. What impact. You can see Kat Vaughn, he's here. She's still probably hurting from that Yakuza kick yes. she took in the corner earlier. All women slow to get to their feet, Hutch. It's anyone's game right now, but he's looks like the quicker one to get up. Kat Von Hees can take the belt here. She's certainly the underdog. She's the one no one's oh. expecting. And when you don't expect it, that's when it happens, folks. Uh-oh. Oh, again, oh, the bridge. No. Nice bridge. Oh, Spinelli saves her title there. And see, that's what I mean about the championship advantage being out the window. You could be not even involved in the finish and still lose your championship. Well, that's one of Kat Von Hees' signature maneuvers. She's put away quite a few ladies with that. Oh. Whoa, as well as this. Fall away slam, or excuse me. It, wait, uh, front power slam? Is that a fall away slam? That's I a mean, front slam. What does what Mark Henry call it when he does it? World's strongest slam. Uh, Mark Henry could call it whatever he wants. He is the world's strongest man. Oh, oh wow, Uranagi there. That. Sit down, Uranagi. Oh. Did Kat get her shoulder up to the Casey Spinelli helper? I don't know, because I could see from my vantage point. But either way, for some reason, Caitlin Diamond is not the Crossfire Women's Champion right now. Well, I'm surprised Diamond didn't float that over after the kick out into some sort of submission on the elbow or arm or head. There we I mean, go. That's the kind of stuff she usually does. See, Caitlin Diamond's oh. smart right now. Take a socky break. This get is your head back into it. the kind of stuff she usually does. Hey. Off to the announce table, grabbing an illegal object. I thought she was going to come up with the title belt swinging, but no, she's got some sacky. Triple threat rules, Hutch. There are no See rules. See what that shirt says? I spit sacky. And oh. there you go. Right in his face. She got one, but not two. Spinelli with the roll up. And another. What, what was that three? Oh, what just happened there? No belt, there we go, belt is down it, but what's the official step? Let's take a look here, quick. I, I guess throughout the chaos, Casey Spinelli is the champion still. Caitlin Diamond is not happy. Well, we saw the replay there. I shaking my hands. Apologizing? But... Don't take up. Don't apologize for taking advantage of winning the match. That's what you're paid to do. Well, I don't know. I would call that a little bit of a tainted victory, but still. Tainted victory. Crossfire Women's Champion Casey Spinelli. A victory is a victory in my book. It doesn't matter how you get it done, as long as your hand is raised at the end. But Casey Spinelli, still your Crossfire Women's Champion apologizing after the match. You gotta be kidding me.